Good morning, boys and girls. I'm back with the secrets of Droon. Yesterday, I posted the Lorax since it was Earth Day. So I hope you enjoyed that. It was kind of a long one. So maybe you'll take two days to listen to it. Um, we are on the quest for the queen. And chapter six is called Droon's Funniest Man. And if you remember, at the end of chapter five, um, Tarak came on and said that he's the funniest man and you'll just die laughing. So keep that in mind while we read chapter six. Honka, honka. The crowd cheered as Tarak ran around honking his horn on a small stage near the wagon. Welcome, one and all, the little man called out. Then he pointed directly at Kia. I see we have Queen Relna's daughter here. And what rhymes with daughter? How about water? Tarak then picked up a bucket with the word water written on the side, rushed at the audience and emptied it over them. Everyone screamed and ducked, but it wasn't water, it was glitter. It showered gently over the crowd. Now watch this, said Tarak as he began to juggle three glass balls while standing on one foot. Isn't this amazing? I wish I could juggle, Neil whispered. Julie gave him a look as the kids crept forward. Neil, we think he's the bad guy. Neil shrugged, but juggling is so cool. Tarak caught the balls and stuffed them in a pocket. And now for something mystical and mysterious, he boomed. He raised his hands and puff, a cloud of red smoke exploded on the stage. When the smoke cleared, Slag was standing there all seven feet of him. The crowd cheered. Mr. Invisible live and in person, Neil said. Eric snorted. Mystical and mysterious, huh? Looks like magic to me. Kia frowned. So it was Slag who tried to knock me off the vine. And it was him chasing my mother? Tarak waved his hands at the crowd. I am pleased to present Slag the mightiest man in Droon. Slag, show them, especially the little ones, just how strong you are. Slag squinted over the crowd, then fixed his eyes on the kids. As he did, he began to bend a long iron bar. He groaned, he growled, he snarled, he grunted. When he was done, the bar was twisted into a giant knot. Neil nudged Eric. Do you get the feeling he wants to do that with us? He's trying to scare us, said Kia, because we suspect of, we suspect them of, of, oh my gosh, she's here. My mother is here. Eric whirled on his heels. Where do you see her? No, Kia whispered, closing her eyes. She's trapped. She's hurt. I feel it. Julie slapped her forehead. Of course. Of course what? Said Neil. It all makes sense now, Julie whispered. That big net slag had, to rock saying they were going fishing, this weird wagon of theirs, Mr. Invisible, don't you see? Yes, said Neil. Then he shook his head. Well, not really. Julie pulled the kids close. Tarak and Slag are the ones who trapped Queen Relna. Not only that, they have her in their wagon. Kia's eyes grew wide. I'm going in there. Eric saw blue sparks shoot suddenly from the tips of Kia's fingers. We're all going in, he said. Together. Yeah, we'll bust them good, Neil added. They started edging away from the crowd. Stop! Tarak snapped, pointing a sharp finger at the kids. Don't go. The fun is just beginning. I need a volunteer. You there with the silly grin. I need you. The crowd turned to Neil. Who, me? Neil pointed to himself. No, sorry. I don't volunteer. It always gets me in trouble. Like the time I cleaned the erasers for Mrs. Michaels and got chalk dust all over her clothes. I nearly got detention. Or the time I, Eric pulled him close. Neil, this is the perfect plan. Tarak will probably just pretend to pull eggs from your ear or something. I don't want eggs in my ear, 
Neil cried. But you can keep an eye on Tarak and Slag while we snoop inside their mystery wagon, Julie pleaded. It's the only way. Maybe he'll teach you to juggle, whispered Eric. Really? Juggle? Neil blinked. Okay, he jumped onto the stage. Right this way, Tarak said as Neil stumbled up next to him. We'll do a bit of simple illusion, simple and fun. It's magic, make no mistake, Kia whispered to her friends. Come on. As they began to circle around the crowd, Tarak brought out three glass balls again. Cool, Neil mumbled. He seemed entranced when Tarak started to juggle them once more. Keep your eye on the balls, said Tarak. And one, and two, and poof! A great puff of red smoke exploded on the stage, and the three of them were gone. Tarak, Slag, and Neil. Gone in a puff of smoke, Julie gasped. Where's Neil? Wait a second, I don't like this after all. Eric watched the smoke rise then begin to fall over the, over the amazed crowd. He didn't like it either. Kia, he said. Is Neil okay? Kia? But the princess had already crept around to the back of Tarak's wagon. The door creaked once and she was inside. That's the end of chapter six. Tomorrow we'll have chapter seven, Tarak's Mystery Wagon. I hope you have a good day and you've been having a good week. And I will see everyone tomorrow. Bye.